a star, but only strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this for the longest haul, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas, yo. What I wanted to do tonight is go in to energetic fatigue, okay? Because some of you may be feeling some energetic fatigue, right? And that has a lot to do with everything that's been going on. That has a lot to do with, you know, that stress of the ups, the downs, uh, can we go out? Do we have to stay in? What are my financial needs? Am I feeling lonely? Is my job secure? My position secure? Am I worried about the health of myself, my family? So all of that creates a bit of anxiety. Okay. So all of that can kind of conjure up some nervousness, anxiety, fear, worry, and it's, it's all natural. All right. But now that we're getting back into the flow, you may be feeling yourself a little bit tired. Uh, you may be feeling yourself like, oh my goodness, you know? So that is because it's kind of like the adrenaline. You held the space, you held the energy roof uh, for, for society, for yourself, for your family. And now you get to kind of release some of it, right? We're slowly releasing it. And in that process, we may find ourselves feeling a bit drained because, you know, you, you may be less on guard, okay? So a lot of this has to do with, you know, getting back in the flow. So be, be kind to yourself, nurture yourself. Okay. Really give yourself an opportunity to rest when you need to rest and, you know, to build that endurance back up. It's about building endurance, you know, so building that. So building that endurance up, really kind of saying, okay, I'm ready to step outside. I'm ready to do this, but don't go gun ho. Like don't be so pushy because you may need time to recover. You may need time to reacclimate. Okay. So that's kind of where you are. So if you've been feeling a little sluggish, a little tired and a little out of sorts, uh, just know that it's so normal. You know, we've, we've all been through so much change these last few months and a lot of things brought up, a lot of emotions coming out. Uh, I'm pretty sure the emotions have gone through the entire spectrum of everything, right? <laughs> You're like, Colbs, I need a break. I need a break. So that is what we're going to do here tonight on the Colby Rebel Show. I am going to take your calls. I'm going to do my best to bring your loved ones a little bit closer and to answer any questions that you may have. So just be sure to give me a call here in the studio, 310 310- 9974966310997 and as you know you know if you've gotten through recently please hang up let's be fair let's let other callers get through other callers have an opportunity to connect with a loved one or perhaps have their question answered right but before we do get to the calls i want to bring up a few very exciting things that I have in store. All right. One of the things, so I did this online spirit messages last week. It was a blast. It was so much fun. Really a great time. So many spirits came through and they really seemed to enjoy it. So I've decided to do another one. All right. So tonight uh, I'm going to share with you spirit gathering. This is going to be Tuesday, June 30th. It is online. I made the time a little bit earlier. So the last event started at 7 p.m. Pacific, but this is going to start 5.30 p.m. And I did that so that you peeps on the East Coast can join us. I felt so bad. I had done the 7 to 8.30, and then I realized all my Midwest and East Coast friends, that was a little late for them. 
So this is early enough, regardless of your time zone, you can come and hang out. It's just $20, very reasonable, hour and a half of delivering messages. So everyone has a chance that their loved one may come through. And even though everyone didn't get a personal reading, they really seem to have enjoyed another person's reading or that other connection. And, and as always, even on this show, right, I, I really believe that even those messages that come forward, we can all benefit from. We can all take a little bit away. And, and just because we're all connected, we're, we're all connected. And so when you see someone else having a connection or someone else receiving that healing or that closure, I believe it heals a little bit within you. There's a little bit of gratitude within you just because it's a fellow soul uh, that received it. So know that, be a part of it. Come join me. You got to sign up for it and, and we will have a great time. That's Tuesday, June 30th. Now, the other thing too, there's only two spots left, you guys, two, two, this many. And the reason is it is private, private mentoring, okay? This is just you and me. We do four 45-minute sessions. They are on Zoom. Then I give you some homework. We have feedback. And that goal is to push you, <laughs> to help you, whether you're a beginner, whether you're advanced, whether you have your own business, whether you're looking to expand. This will, we can do it at any level. I work to your level. My goal is to help you only two spots left. That starts in July and there's only two spots left. So if you are hungry for that private training, that private mentoring, that private place to kind of say, hey, how do I develop? That's where you want to go. Okay. So how about we take some callers, right? Lots of callers in line. Oh, you know, you guys really are the best. I'll tell you, you guys are the best. So Here's the thing. Remember, let's turn off all those external noises so we don't have any distractions. You know, those household distractions can really impact uh, the experience for everyone, yourself, the listeners. So really give this your focus and, and energy, all right? And put everything away. Put yourself in a quiet, quiet space. And that really is going to, that is really going to help. So let us take a caller. So remember, let me know who you want to connect to, all right? Or if it's a psychic question, what is the question, all right? Because I could spend an hour with each and every one of you, but because we try to get to as many callers as we can, we got to kind of do it as quickly as we can, all right? Sound good? Okay, everybody, here we go. How about uh, we take 530? Hey, 530, this is Colby. Who is this? This is Christy. What can I do for you tonight? I, I was hoping to hear from my son. Okay, got it. Now, um, connecting to your son, I'm curious, have, have I connected to him before? He felt familiar. That's why yes. I'm asking. Okay, okay, okay. Because he felt, he's like, hey, Colbs. <laughs> 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 like, right? We're, we're BFFs now. Um, yes. And is he like, you You know, I won't remember the connection. I just feel familiar with him, you know? So he comes in just, he's already here and already ready, right? Like, isn't he a little bit, I don't know if smart Alec is the right word, but you know, he's got that sense of humor that he doesn't mind giving you a hard time at times, right? Isn't that make sense? That's him. And and a casual guy. Like, he just keeps showing me him wearing some jeans. So I, I don't think he is into real fancy. He just wants to be casual and comfortable. Um, and, and now, interesting, his hands are a little dirty. Was Did he work with his hands or was he uh, doing something, working on a project? He was a, a millwright where he went in, worked on turbines at the PG&E plants. <laughs> I have no clue what that is. Okay, got it. Oh. But I guess his hands would be dirty. Does that, I guess that makes sense? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> That's why I guess he didn't tell me what he did. Cause I'd be like, what? <laughs> but my, you know what though? I got to tell you, I so well liked at work too, right? This guy, I mean, just a, a yes. really well liked uh, young guy. And, and he also gives me 
a sense to now is there a child connected to him or is there a sibling that has a younger child yes he has a little boy okay got it because he, he he acknowledges his son all right he acknowledges him and it's also but i feel like he he uh, he did get to meet him. He was around him for a bit prior to his passing. Am I correct? Yeah, he was two and a half. When okay, he got it. Got it. And what's interesting, there's something about this son. Either he's... There, it, you, your son rubs your, the, his son's head. You know, like shaking his hair back and forth. So there's something about his son's hair. You know, is it that it's shaggy hair or is it short hair? What's with this kid's hair? It's short. It's a okay. lot like my son's hair. Okay. And then would you understand that maybe your uh, son would be the type of dad to give a nuggy to his <laughs> son? Do you know what that is when you put your, your knuckles in yeah. the kid's head? Okay. See, I think he would have he would have been a playful dad with him. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, got it. Now your son gives me uh your son gives me big old wings for you, uh like a big bird, a big wings. So would you understand or do you recognize wings or a big bird being a sign for him? Mm, no. Do you have angel wings not for sure. him? No. Mm, I'm not giving up here. Hang on. He definitely keeps showing me wings, honey. Do you under, there's nothing with an angel or wings, or you haven't seen a bird outside recently for him? Well, you're not connecting it to him. Have you seen, have you noticed birds outside? Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. They're, okay, got it. They're from him. But they're not inky dink little birds. Like, I feel like they're bigger birds, no? I guess. I mean, he, he loves the big crows. Yeah, yeah. I, he was just, oh my gosh. You have no, I, he literally, that is my fault. He literally showed me a crow. He did. And I thought he was just saying a big bird versus a hummingbird, right? But to, to his credit, he's like, Koei, I just showed you a crow. And I'm sorry. But yeah, <laughs> so I want you to notice that those are around you. And that is him with you, okay? So that is him with you. Alrighty. So just kind of know right. that. All right. And there's also this feeling as well with you. I just feel like there's a, you know, he wants to kind of pick you up, mom. I feel like this has been a little bit of a difficult time for you. I feel like you've been feeling a little down lately or a little, uh, you know, normally you're pretty strong, but I feel like just more recently, it's been a little tougher for you. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Has it been a birthday? Do we have a birthday coming up or an anniversary? His niece's birthday and then his, um, ex, his girlfriend that just got married. It was just her anniversary. Okay, got it. He's Yeah, he's, he's letting you know that, you know, there's one thing too. I feel like try not to allow that anniversary of her wedding make you sad as if that was supposed to be my son, right? Try not to be sad about it because it's a joyous thing that she does have love. And I feel like he's really reassuring you that he is okay. And I know you miss him terribly. I know you miss his sense of humor. Um, and I know you miss that playfulness with him, but he's really reassuring you that he's okay. All right. That's good because that anniversary was hard on me. I know. And, I, but I think that it has a lot to do with, because you're thinking, you know, oh, that should have been him and her, or d does that make sense? Yes. And, yes. and, and he's saying, mom, I'm the one who orchestrated this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this, this is, I, yeah, I, I talked to you last year. You gave me the eight number and, and then my, she called me and said, that's affinity. We got married on the day. The oh. eight because it meant affinity. You see, like, whoa, Kobe said the eight. Yeah, and he, I, he's giving me chills up and down my arm. He's giving me chills up and down. See, so maybe look at it this way rather than, oh, my son's missing out or this was supposed to be him. Kind of give, he's like, give me a little more credit, mom. I want you to be proud of me. Look at what I orchestrated from up here. <laughs> and, and he just, you know, he gives you, I just gives you the biggest hug. And I, I can't take away that pain that you're feeling. And, and I understand it, but 
you know what a you you did a good job with him. You did a good job. He's a good boy, and you know, and he also appreciates. I believe that you're in his son's life. Is that correct? Or you've been doing something with his oh, yeah. son. And he wants to yeah. thank you for that. He just says, Mom, you're doing great. And I really want to thank you that, for that. Okay? Thank you, Sophie. That means you, a lot. You're welcome. Lots of love to you. Blessings to you. And, and, and gosh, you know, every time you see a crow, I want you to say thank you. Okay? It's kids working hard for you, Mom. <laughs> hard. And then you just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lots of love. Have a good Thank night. Mm, bye bye. Thank you, Toby. So You're much. welcome. Bye bye. Okay, everybody. There, there we go. Um, you know, again, we all know how hard it is to lose those loved ones that we care so much about. And I think the hardest thing is, you know, we you can hear all day long. I, I can tell you, and I can do these connections and and bring them forward. And it, it can be very healing and it can feel so wonderful and so close. But sometimes, you know, I know you're just sitting on the couch and you just want to lean over and, and grab them physically or just pick up the phone and, and, and call them. And, and sometimes you even forget that they are in spirit, right? You have a moment and then you have that realization. So I understand all of that. But every time I connect and every time I'm with spirit, they just feel so at peace. They feel happy. They feel that they are around and that they are sitting with you and that they are on the other end of that call line. And so try to hold on to that when you're saying, where are you? And stop giving them demands. <laughs> Give me this. Stop that. <laughs> All right, how about we um how about we take 207? Hi 207. This is Colby. Who is this? This is Heidi. Hi Heidi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. What can I do for I'd you like tonight? I'd like to connect with my parents. Okay, great. So, you you know it's interesting that your parents are in spirit because they feel to be very energetic. Like, do you know what I mean? They don't even feel that they were that old when they transitioned. Is that correct? Uh, my mom wasn't. Okay, because she feels to be energetic. Now you would remember your mom because I feel like you're a little older when she does pass. You don't feel too old, but you're definitely a little older. Am I correct? Correct. Correct. She's, you know, she shows me, I, I'm not sure, I, she really kind of shows me, uh, especially when you're younger, like 10 to 15. So I, I believe, I think she would have passed later than that, but I believe uh, you, were, you were very close to her or around her a lot in those years. Is that right? Correct, yeah. Okay, because what, and, and then you remember your mom having energy or lots of energy. Am I correct? She feels energetic. Does that make sense to you? Um, I thought she was normal. <laughs> Just, I, but yes, she, okay. she did a lot. She, she accomplished a lot. Yeah, she just makes me feel like she gives me a big smile. So I feel like she would come in with a good attitude or be friendly to people, um, really try to lighten the, the mood of the space. Do you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like. Yes, I do. She doesn't like um, pouts, you know, she doesn't turn that frown upside down. <laughs> no, that's right. Right? right. Like that's You're what right. I mean by energetic and just this like beautiful. Yeah. There's beautiful eyes with her, beautiful softness to her face. Does that make sense? Do you remember that with her? I do. Okay. I do. And and she gives me a sense where there's just a, a a sweetness to her. I get the sense of a sweetness, you know? Like, I feel like she she cared about you so much. And I feel like she would spend a lot of time talking with you. And, like, I feel like there was a close relationship. Am I correct with that, honey? Yes. Okay. She's not giving me a whole lot around the passing, I, but I kind of have this weird feeling that you didn't get a chance to say goodbye or maybe you weren't there right at the end. Is that right? No, we weren't. We were not. I didn't think so. It, it just feels like almost like it's a quick, I almost feel like a quickness to it. Is that right? Is it quick passing or like you left and then she passes? Um, no. Like you left and no, then she it wasn't. passes. But we left. And then she passed. Yeah. In a hospital, though. Am I correct? She's in a hospital. You yes. leave and she passes. Yes. 
Okay, okay, that's what I get. Yeah, so right. let me just explain. So when quick passing, um, you know, even it doesn't always mean that it's an accident, right? It could be that, you know, she might have had this illness, but then that it's just like it's downhill or something so quick. And then, like, I don't feel like you left thinking she was passing. I feel like you guys thought you would see her. And so, but she gives yeah. me the... She gives me the feeling around it where she she just, it was time. And I feel like she just didn't want it to be too painful on the kids and the family. Okay. So I feel like. That there's would a, be her. Yeah. Like, I feel like there was a sense where uh, I feel who, because didn't someone say that they would see her tomorrow? Do you remember that or no? Like someone, I don't know. My dad, my dad. Okay. I okay. mean, we just went for dinner and then she yeah. passed. Yeah, but you know they do that. I I feel like they definitely do that because it's like they don't want you to see have that experience, right? They're okay. Your I, mom is if, like that. She's so yes, strong. I believe that. Yeah, your mom is such a a giver. Okay, she's such a giver. And you know what's interesting now? Dad is also in spirit, sweetheart. Yes, he is. Now his his passing was there something connected to his chest, honey? That you can. You can understand. Um, he first of all, I do want to say he gives me a sense of heartbreak. First of all, so I believe the passing of your mother. I don't think your dad ever fully recovered from that, right? Because I feel like those two were really close. Um, but he gives me also a sense of uh, uh, illness through his body too. So did he also have illness, honey? He did. He okay. Did. Because, but do you know if it spread to his chest as well? It feels like it spread. Am I right? Because that's the sense I got. Yes. Going through my body. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I, I feel yes. like I want to tell you, your dad, honey, oh, he, you know, he was upset about this. And, and honestly, because of you guys, like, I feel like he's like, oh my goodness, they've lost their mother. I want to be there for them. Like, I feel like, you know, your dad had been a rock. And, and I think for him, it was difficult that he knew he was having this, but he just did the best he could. You know, he handled it the best he could. And I feel like he did his best to remain optimistic and, and to kind of make sure you guys knew how much he cared about you. Does that make sense? Yes, he did. He yeah. Did. Um, now, are, you have, because he keep they keep referring, are there, you have siblings, am I right, sweetheart? Siblings? I do. I do. Yes, yeah. I do. Okay. Now, are there three of you total? Yes, is that right? there is. Okay. All right. Because they kept giving me a sense of three, and I wanted to make sure. And, um, and I feel like the one thing that they were really good at, I think that they treated all of you equally. Like, I don't think one of you said, oh, that person's the favorite. Like, I feel like you all felt very loved by both your parents. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was the favorite. Though. We okay. That. Okay. <laughs> well, they're, they're definitely trying to be PC right now, just so you know, Okay. <laughs> They're letting me know. Well, they did such a good job that we each felt like we were the favorite. Yeah, so exactly. They did, a good job. they did do a good job. Um, now, yeah. do do you know either in the living or someone's name or middle name? Do do we have like a a? I feel like it's a woman's name, an M A, like either a Madeline or an M. Um, Madeline or Marilyn, is there something like that that you, or Marie? But does that make sense? Can you connect that name? Not, not really close, close, but yeah. Uh, who would it be I have for a you? A cousin. A cousin. Okay, a cousin's close. Okay. What, what kind of family did you grow up in? <laughs> I just want them to talk about us. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yes, okay, sir. Sorry. Well, with the weirdest thing, I'm, I am just kind of curious because I was going, if you didn't catch it, I was going to say your mom gives me the sense of an aunt or connected to an aunt. So I'm just curious, does it happen to be, can, is this cousin from an aunt or is it from an uncle? Um. Well, you know, it is from an aunt and an uncle. <laughs> but but one would one would be one would not one would be by marriage, sweetheart. One would be by blood, right? Oh, and it's to my mom. It felt like it was my I mom's. Was, family? Yeah, it felt like it was a mom, like an aunt for you, connected to an aunt. But it felt like it was blood related, like the child. Never mind, you're not getting it. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm sorry, I, I'm. Sorry. I know you. I, I'm trying to say. 
that this cousin feels like it's from an aunt that is blood related. Is that right or not right? No, it would be an uncle. There you go. That's all I'm trying to get to. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Okay. You're making me exhausted. <laughs> all right. No, all right. don't, don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, well, you weren't even going to call the cousin family, really. Well, distant. No, distant is like second, third cousin, great aunt. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, I feel like your mom would include everyone. I feel like your she mom. She would. Yes, she would. So, yes. even though you don't want to include uh, other family members, <laughs> your mom would. Okay. And, and she gives yes. me a big smile because I feel like we do have some family since her passing. Some some family members have come in and she's really hoping people stay together because she likes gatherings. Your mom likes people to gather. And she's kind of hoping that you guys can, you know, do that even a bit more, all right? So maybe there's something about this, reaching out to those family members, pulling everybody in and making the best to keep them close rather than you guys just being a little isolated through it, okay? And especially, you okay. know, there's a part too with you where I do feel like, um, you know, your mom always said that you're sensitive. So I'm not sure if you understand that, but I felt like she gives I me do. the impression that, you know, she always wanted to take a little extra care of you because she felt like you were so sensitive and didn't want people to hurt your feelings. And, <laughs> and so she, she loves that about you and she's, she's letting you know that she is with you. And then real quick, I know we're going to go for another name here. Brace yourself. Is there a, okay. a K sound like a K, either a Carrie or a Karen or Something like that that you can, Kathy, can, that you can connect to. Yes. Okay. Now, who would that be, babe? A friend, Kathy. Okay. Now, this is your current friend, Kathy, or your mom's friend? Mine. Okay. Got it. So, you know, you're, I guess your mom is bringing, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, when I ask her why would this be important or why would you mention this, I, I believe that you're one of those people that really your friends call for help or your friends call for advice. Like you're really that kind of therapist for them. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And your mom is like the therapist for you. So she's like with you when you do this, yes. right? <laughs> so, yes. Yes. Okay. So she's letting you know, she's letting you know. And apparently your mom would be the one doing all the talking in the family. Cause although I feel your dad and he's there and he's very strong he really is kind of giving the, the the title over to your mom to be the representative here, you know? And, you know, just know that when your dad transitioned, your mom was there to receive him. So I really want you oh, we to knew know that. that. All right. And I feel like, did he, oh, call, yeah. do you know if he called out for her? She said, she said he did. That's why I'm asking. Or did he have a dream and say he her did. name? Okay. Got it. One last name. Is there a D name? Uh, I don't know if it's Dolores or Dawn. There's a D name. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, who is this? Well, my dad's name is Dawn and my yes. brother's name is Dan. Okay. Got it. No, it was just your dad because, you know, you're, you're dead. Right. Because your mom was mentioning him. So I believe this is him. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Stop giving. Is there a Brian as well? <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't know a Brian. No. Mm, a Brad or a Brian? Bradley, Brad, Brian, B-R. Well, anyhow, mm, or it could be Brianna. Just sit with, it's B-R that I see. So anyhow, uh, okay. just sit with I'll it and then you can always put it in there. I think they were just teasing you. I, I bet you you're going to connect to it too. You're going to get off of here. You're going to, oh my gosh, that's who it was. But they, yeah, you know, I, I agree. They, they have a lightheartedness, your family, you know, like they like to be playful. It was a close knit family. And, and I feel like, oh, yeah. yeah, Heidi, did you have a baby or is there a baby born with you guys? Uh, you or your siblings? Do we have a baby coming in or someone younger? Oh, gosh. Well, that'd be great. We have, I mean, we all have kids that that could be having babies. That'd be awesome. Yeah, honey. I think, well, I, I believe we got a baby. Uh, they definitely may. Well, let's see. Oh, my God. You got to call back. If we got a pregnancy in the next 
six months, let me know. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta be like, oh my god, I will. they were right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Lots of love oh to you, gosh. honey. All right. You have a good night. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stay safe. <laughs> you too. Um, so okay, here we go. All right. Let us take uh, another another caller. How about seven two zero? Hey, 720, this is Colby. Who is this? Hi, Colby. This is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. How are you, hon? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What can I do for you? Um, I'd like you to look at um, a gentleman for me and tell me what you see going on, how he feels, that type of thing. Got it. And can I get his first name? Can you give that, just his first? John. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Um. Now, this is someone I feel like, now, have you made a connection to him? Have you been dating him? Because I feel like there, there is an energy of that feeling mutually. We have a long history where we've been on and off for years. Now, we, we just, we I were just, apart for a hang, while. And yeah, then yeah, hang on one second. Did he, did he reach out? I'm sorry. Did he, does he do something on, I just saw Facebook. So I'm trying to figure out how Facebook plays into this. Okay. So did he send you a message as well when he was trying to reconnect? No, that's how we're connecting right now. Oh, that's it. So you understand it. So this guy's now coming back in, huh? <laughs> Hopefully. Um, I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, now the feeling for him, I have to tell you, uh, you know, one of the things with him is I think normally um, he definitely has been indecisive. I think he's had like a lot of stuff come up and I don't know what it is. I do feel like for once, and I don't say this too often, right? But I think that this guy's actually kind of worked on some things for himself, all right? So he definitely feels a little more mature than he would have been in the past, okay? So that's a positive thing. And I feel like there's something about him now that wants to settle down a bit. I feel like he had been in another relationship and he finally let it go. Do you know if that's true or do you not know that? Yeah, he he was. I don't know if he still is or not, or if he's not into it anymore. But um, yeah, there was another one. Okay, the thing I I I feel like you two clearly, you know, have a lot of chemistry. I mean, there's a ton of chemistry here. This is a hard one because yeah. you know, you've got a little bit, you got a little bit of that soulmate, but honestly, there's a little bit of that toxicity. <laughs> But that happens, yeah. <laughs> that happens sometimes when there's a lot of passion. I believe, you know, the only thing with him, I believe that the only thing I'm, I'm really feeling to kind of give you a little bit of a caution. So not a red flag. I'm going to give you a yellow one. All right. I, I think okay. sometimes he has trouble really getting comfortable being with only one person. So I think that, you know, and I know you really care about them. I'm not saying it's impossible with this one this time, but I feel like maybe it's about being a little bit more clear with him, like communication. Because I don't, I, I don't know if you've always been super clear. You, you know what I'm saying? And so I want you two to work on communication a bit so that he knows like, hey, I can't come back into her life unless, you know, I know I can be serious with her. But uh, right. he thinks okay. about you a lot. I mean, this dude, I think even for the past year, you said it's been a year, right? He's, he thought about, he didn't forget about you. He thought all the time this guy thinks about you. Did he tell you that? Is he trying to be cool? No, he but it doesn't, be cool. it doesn't surprise, he, he doesn't say that. But I mean, when he sees me, it's, you know, all yeah. over me, sweetheart, sweetie. Yeah, hugging yeah. Hugging me all over the place. I know, he yeah. tries to be very cool. I just feel like, the, you know, again, look at that caution a little bit. So don't just get your heart all back up in here. All right. Um, I want you uh -huh. to really focus on what you want to make sure you're okay with that. You're on the same page with him. I think you two are going to get back. To right. We haven't. Wow. Cool. We haven't seen each other yet this year because of the stuff COVID. going on. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I don't well, know when I'll I, see him again. I, well, I do feel like you'll see him. I feel like you'll get back together, but. I just feel like we got to work on the toxic part of the passion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. it's just better communication. It's, it I is. have trouble expressing myself. Uh, yes, you do. I don't want to get rejected. So. That's true. And, I'm and sorry. It's, yeah, it's true. That's what I was trying to say earlier. You know about the communication and that you have to be clear because I feel like you have to own your worth to say, listen, I want a monogamous relationship and I want someone who's committed to me because I know that I'm worth it. And you have to be willing to let him go if he's not willing to step into that box with you. Okay. 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 Right. Lots of love to you. Thank you, Colby. You're Have welcome. A, uh, stay safe. And thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye bye, Ham. All right. We're going to do another caller. Here we go. Let us do. Um, hey, about, how about 253? Hey, 253. This is Colby. Who is this? Uh, hi, Colby. It's Story. Hi. Is it Tori or Story? Story. 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 All right, Story. What can I do for you? And then I'm not a lot letting you call back for a month. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, honestly, this is more or less. Um, I have uh, someone that had passed a, a while back mm -hmm. and I'm still tied to their family. And unfortunately, her father just passed away. Yeah. And I'm still very close with the sister. Okay. And so I just wanted to see if there was anything there. Because I've had a lot of weird signs since he passed. <laughs> Well, I do feel like there's some signs, but maybe as a way to tell you that he's okay so that you can reassure your friend because, you know, she's probably yes. in a place where it's too hard for her to receive the signs or the symbols, you know, it's too deep for her. Mm -hmm. So I feel like because you've worked on so much healing and you've done such a good job with it, right, in the last few weeks that I feel like he's saying, oh, sh she can help get that message across. She can help let everyone know that I'm okay. Right. And um, mm -hmm. it makes me feel like so it's your friend is also the sister. So sh this your friend, this girl has lost her sister and her dad. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So because your your dad, this dad is also letting us know that he's with the other daughter. All right. So mm -hmm. they're together and they're, you know, which is really nice because they're reuniting and doing things. This dad, I believe, was very playful. I, he showed me a kite. I don't know if he flew a kite or if there's a connection to a kite. Would you know that? You know, he just kind of flew by the seat of his pants anything we wanted. Okay. I mean, he was just the, kind of the all-around dad yeah. that yeah. you so, wanted to hang out with. Yeah, he just <laughs> makes me feel like, you know, he got some time with the daughter in the living, but he's letting her know that he's spending time mm -hmm. with the one in spirit and they're connecting and... That, you know, she's kind of showing him the ropes a little bit and, and really reassuring. Good, okay. Yeah, reassuring. So, again, when you're getting these signs, they're really a positive thing mm -hmm. for you. And and I yes. do believe that they're reassurances. I, I believe, ask her, either you, it's, it's interesting. I wonder if, well, there's two things. Ask her if she's been noticing pennies or maybe he wants her to start noticing the pennies, okay? And <laughs> Okay. I feel like that's him letting her know. Have you been noticing them? Um, no, but it wouldn't surprise me with her dad. It okay. really wouldn't. <laughs> okay, yeah, because there's pennies. Now, the, the sister, uh, it's funny. I wonder if the sister was younger when she passed. Because oddly enough, she showed me a she unicorn. <laughs> she what showed me a unicorn, like a rainbow and a unicorn. So I wonder you know, that if... Was, that was something she used to joke about. And she would say that she was a unicorn. She's one of a kind. And... Oh, got it. So there you yeah. go. So you got to <laughs> let, you know, let the friend in the... You know, you're, you're close to them. And so therefore, you become a bit mm -hmm. of a messenger, right? And so I feel you know, like I haven't yet, I haven't discussed it with her, but I've, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, the past week has been pretty insane. So yeah, a lot of activity, a lot of energetic activity, right? So let yes. yourself. Yes. And I mean, nothing but positive. Oh, it's fun though. Isn't it fun? It's fun. It has and, been, but it's, and it's you, you weird, got, but fun. <laughs> you got all kinds of stuff going on around you, especially your, the electricity around you is crazy. So between your uh, lights yes. and light bulbs and, and things not working, did you have a computer or a printer glitch something or a TV glitch, something electronic like that? 
yeah, my TV went off and it's brand new. Yeah. <laughs> and it took about like half a day to, for I me know, to get it. Sorry. To go I, know. <laughs> I know. Don't you hate that? I mean, it is fun when they do it, but gosh, can you not do it? <laughs> I know I'm like, it's brand new. <laughs> yeah. Don't break it. Up. You know, listen, let me tell you, caution you, please, please, please heed my advice because you are getting a lot here now, Story. I, I want you to get yes. some surge protectors. Please, please, please. Spend the money on them and start putting things in the surge Definitely. protector. It's, I, I'm t girl, I'm telling you, it's, it's worth it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, it, it's been crazy, but I did want to also let you know, you know, you mentioned wings earlier. Yeah. Um, uh, on the back of my neck and you mentioned, uh, Brienne, a name okay. Brienne. Yeah. Well, um, uh, her middle, her middle name was Brienne, and I have a tattoo of wings on the back of my oh neck. Oh my god! Maybe she, see, she was she her. was sitting there waiting for you to come in. I I was the one on the lag, right? I'm the one, Kobe. I'm, I'm coming in. <laughs> That's I was so thinking, funny. Man, I just wonder, just calm down, calm down. If I yeah. can't free, we'll talk that. <laughs> Look at that. Well, must be meant to be story. Must be meant to be. You know, just make sure that you, you know, maybe start practicing and opening up a bit more on those gifts. Go to my website on the online, online classes. classes, you know, uh, the online classes are you know, videos. I've been into those and I will. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's time this way. It's going to help. You'll have a good time with it, sweetheart. Okay. Absolutely. And I, I feel like it'll definitely make me feel less anxious. <laughs> oh, definitely. It's going to be great. Yeah. Um, feel less anxious oh. real quick. Are you going to feel less anxious? Not necessarily, but you will feel more clear <laughs> and you'll learn how to ground yourself and center yourself, which will then help with the anxiety. But even now when I feel spirit around, I feel a sensation of anxiety. Okay. So yeah. I, I don't okay. want to promise you that it's going to go away, but you'll learn to differentiate that it's spirit and not your own stuff causing the anxiety. And that, that brings a oh, lot of as long peace. As I can feel in control. We're yeah. <laughs> well, you can't, girl, if you're going down the spirit road, you're never going to be in control. So why don't you work on surrendering <laughs> now? Let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We'll do. Lots of love to you, babe. Lots of love. Okay. Thank bye -bye. you so much. Holby. You're welcome. Bye, story. Bye. Okay. Um, you know, one of the things too, real quick, and I am going to just do one more caller, but one of the things too is with story, you, you know, it's, you can tell she's opening up, right? You can tell the traumatic event she's experienced has really triggered that opening for her. And that happens to a lot of people. Some people are born and they have the gifts and they don't really let them go and they carry them through their lives. Some people may have them at a really young age, then they kind of go away because life gets in the way and, and then they come back and they can come back because of a traumatic experience or a near death experience. There are those that don't remember that they had gifts, but again, that near death, that trauma, anything. And trauma could be anything, you know, a loved one passing. It could be a severe breakup. It could be an illness, you know, anything that causes your system to kind of go on high alert, right? That, that can trigger your connection to spirit to open up even more. So it's, it's kind of fun listening to story because, you know, I, it's beautiful to hear that opening and that connection. And if you are experiencing that, if you're listening to this and you say, oh my gosh, that sounds like me, I feel anxious too. And, and I understand what story has been going through. Open up those psychic gifts. You know, you have my book, uh, you have my book, Psychic Senses. You've got those classes, join an online group, but let yourself play in the spirit sandbox a little bit. All right. Okay. Let us, uh, let us do one more caller. How about here, um, how about 865? Oh, eight. my gosh. Okay. Oh, so, my gosh. Yeah, wow. Hello. Hi, Colby. <laughs> Who is this? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can, baby. This Who is, is Dee Dee. Dee Dee? Holy, wow. Yes, Dee Dee. D -I -D -I. Okay. What can I do for you tonight, Dee Dee? Oh, I'm so glad I got through. Aww. Oh, my God. Um. I have a student who passed away. It's his birthday tomorrow. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. He's in spirit, though? That's what I was feeling. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, and he's not very old, right? Obviously, he's not very old. Um, and, no. Uh-uh. And he makes me, he makes me feel like... Now, this is a sudden passing. Am I right, Didi? Yeah. Is, is there a response? Yeah. Um, is he somewhat responsible for this passing? Do you know or do you not know? I don't want to go too much into it if, if you don't know. No, he, yeah, he, he is, yeah. I, I thought so, honey. I thought so. Um, you know, this is a kid that I feel like you really tried to help, right? Because he's a very sensitive kid. I think, you know, I feel like he was very sensitive. <laughs> And I feel like he had a tough yeah. time. I feel like he had a tough time trusting people, you know, because his life felt hard. Like his life doesn't feel easy. And I feel like he had a tough time trusting people. But I do feel like he had a closeness to you or he felt like he could talk to you. I think, you know, the one little yeah. thing he enjoyed was to try to make you proud of him. Um, he definitely gives yeah. me that. And he gives me the feeling where... Um, I just feel like for him, though, I, I think he was also, again, I'm not diagnosing this poor, poor boy, but I feel like either he had some depression, like, because he felt a bit hopeless. Does that make sense? Do you understand that about him? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't know at the time. I, I wasn't know. sure, but I... Well, it's hard, and you weren't supposed to know, but that's the thing, too. I, he kind of kept things private. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, yeah, I feel like he would put on a smile and you, you know, I want you to know how much joy you brought to him. I, I really feel like you did bring joy to him. I just feel like this, he just feels so sensitive to me. I feel like, can I ask, honey, would I be correct that, that yeah. he, he took his life? Is that correct? Would that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He just, mm-hmm. you know, he I. Did. He wants he wants to take responsibility for that. And and the reason is is because I think cuz he's young too, you know, and I feel like he just didn't yeah. I don't think he understood that maybe there were other choices for him. And there's something about his school like he didn't I don't know if it's just that he didn't quite fit in or there's something around school. Would you know this or not know this? He told me that he had and I didn't he told me I, he told me that he had like deleted his um his social media uh, yeah. page and then we found it after he did it and he didn't delete it so but yeah he he had told me once that he did and I tried to tell my kids that whatever anybody thinks about you is none of your business yeah and I tried to remind them that I really want yeah, them yeah. to know that because yeah, I it want is, them. They should be confident, and yeah, it breaks my heart. I just, I want to talk to them. You know, I want to. Yeah, I just feel like, and and I, I, I don't. I think the most important thing is you, you carry this guilt, and I feel like he doesn't want you to carry the guilt. Like I think in your mind, you know that it's not your fault, but I feel like in your heart, you. You blame yourself, you know, why didn't I see it or why didn't I say it or why didn't I know? And, and, and he's just asking you to let go of all of that, that you did more than enough for him. And again, there's a part of him, you know, that, that just kind of says, I, I didn't know that there were options and I wasn't really sure who to go to. And, and that's really what it comes down to. And I want to just share one last thing is, you know, he's got a magnificent smile. You know, his smile, I I think when you saw him, it did seem like joy and and happiness, you know, and, and I feel like, you know, he wants you to recognize that smile and that when he did smile at you, it was genuine and he meant it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I loved, like, he never really smiled and I loved I, when I could make him smile. Yeah. I loved making my students smile and when he actually smiled, it made me it's so happy. It's beautiful. Right. Do you see why he would bring it up then? How important that was to him too? Because he wanted to smile. He just he just didn't feel comfortable. But with you, he did. He felt comfortable with you. And so 
I want you to know that you did make an impact on his life, okay? You really did. Um, do you have three kids already? I don't know what he's giving me three kids. How many kids do you have? <laughs> I, don't, I have a lot of students. I don't have any personal children, no. <laughs> but I, I have a lot of students that I love. They're my life. I, I love them so much. It, Are you planning uh, but on no, kids? No, I don't have any children of my own, no. <laughs> huh. Are you planning on a family? I, I'm not even, I would love to have a family one day. I'm not even with anybody right now. I, I'm, you know, I would figure be... I'm a lost cause. No, no, no. Stop that. Now stop that right there real quick. Just stop that. I, I feel like real quick, you know, maybe it's that you're meeting someone then and they have some children already. And that's how we get to at least two. <laughs> um, oh, but it, Wow. Yeah, so it could be that sort of thing. So, you know, I feel like one little message that this bright young man wants to bring forward is to to really know you are special and to know how loved you are and to know that you're worthy of love. And I really feel like he wants to share that. He's a very deep kid, you know, very, very introverted, deep, deep kid and uh, quite wise beyond his his physical years okay and just know that he gives you lots of love and to know that he's okay all right and on a psychic level let's get yourself out there a bit more sweetheart okay 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 thank you so much yeah lots of lots of love to you honey okay Thank you so much, Colby. I've been trying to get through for weeks. Oh, I'm well, so glad that I got you. I was, but do you see how today was you. the perfect day? Today was the day you needed to get through because we have his celebration tomorrow, right? So mm -hmm. it, it I don't know what to do out. tomorrow, by the way. I didn't know. I, I moved all my students to an earlier time. I don't want to keep you, but I do. I, I, mm -hmm. I don't know what to do to celebrate his birthday. And I feel like I want to do something. And I don't know. What would he want me to do you to celebrate what? his birthday? I, I have like, no idea what to do. I feel like it is about, um, you know what he just showed me? This sounds crazy, but you know, I feel like maybe get like a little, a little tree like a little planting and go somewhere uh -huh. in nature and plant uh -huh. it and just, and just kind of carry on like somewhere that's peaceful. Is there a little trail around you or somewhere nice that you could just plant a little something for him? I mean, there's the backyard. <laughs> why not? Why not? <laughs> but why, could, why not plant something in the backyard? Why not go get yourself, put your little face mask on and go to your Lowe's or Home uh, Depot or local greenery, get a little, get a little tree, get a little something so that there's, you know, there's something about going into the earth and it growing that it will, it will keep him, keep his spirit alive for you. It would be beautiful to nurture something to grow. Okay. Okay. It's I'll do that. Better than I'll releasing balloons. I'll absolutely do that in okay? his honor. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. And he, he just, again, one last thing. He just wants to thank you. He just says thank you. Please. Okay. And. And lots tell him of love. I love him. Oh, you tell him. He can hear you just fine. And you yeah, tell him tomorrow as you plant that that tree. Okay? okay. I will. I All will. Right. Colby, thank All you right. so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. And enjoy the rest of your night, honey. Okay? Thank you. I will. Okay. I appreciate it. You're welcome. God bless you. Love you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, honey. Bye-bye. All righty, everybody. That is the end of our show. We did run over today, and I am a, a sorry, but I wanted to get, you know, a few callers in, make sure everybody got a chance. Uh, remember, everybody, you know, I've got that spirit gathering coming up Tuesday, June 30th. It's an hour and a half, so we get a lot more messages in there. And I want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you for hanging in here the whole time. Thank you for staying on those call lines and for giving the energy and the love for everyone here. So thank you so much. Have a beautiful night and I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. Thank you for listening to The Colby Rebel Show. Be sure to follow Colby on social media at Psychic Rebel. And if you've enjoyed this podcast, please head on over to iTunes to leave a review to help Colby grow the tribe.
Colby is an international psychic medium, teacher, best-selling author, and speaker. She is a master teacher of the Lisa Williams International School of Spiritual Development and is the owner of the Colby Rebel Spirit Center in Los Angeles. Visit ColbyRebel.com.